What's that? <laughs> I was here first. No, that chair would have been too high because I'm sitting here in yeah. the computer and everything. So people are going to notice that we have a different kind of setup. So we are live. We're just waiting awesome. for people to tune in. Um, so people are going to notice that we have a little bit of setup, different setup. I changed the broadcasting software because there was some updates on the old broadcasting software and those updates on the old broadcasting software didn't jive with the hardware. So as people are tuning in, if you could just let us know that you hear us. Okay. I believe that you can. I think you can. I'm going to tune in right now, well, I'm but not I'm not sure hear it. people are just going to have to tell us because I don't know. Also, oh, no, look at that close caption. This is the cast at Glocker. I have that up on the screen. You can join us on YouTube at Glocker Realty and Insurance. So there's that. I can see that we now have some people joining us. Thanks for tuning in. We're at the Flying Pig in the lovely borough of Boyertown. <laughs> What's the address here? 112 East Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. 112. Yeah. I have that on a graphic and I'm going to ch change the graphics up. I'm going to, yeah, screen is super small. There's nothing I can do about that today. Again, I'm using new software and um, it is what it is. Uh, if you change your phone to landscape view instead of portrait view, it would make the screen look bigger. You can also hit Jen just wants to see her the faces full screen. Real close if up. you hit the full screen button on Facebook, it'll also make the screen appear better. I'm going to do this bigger. right now. Um, I can see people tuning in. Um, like I said, we're struggling with some technology problems. This is new broadcasting software. I don't have all of it figured out yet. What we're doing is we're working it out, right? Live yes. on the air <laughs> so right two, now. One show at a time. That's right. Uh, the chat function. I, I can see your chats. I can see your comments. Jennifer Ann, thanks for tuning in. Kathy Sell, thanks for tuning in. She's saying hello to Emma. Is that mom? From Emma. Yeah, that's Emma. Emma. Yeah, that's that's the kids watching. Keep the comments coming, please. We do like the comments. If you want to get the word about the flying pig out to all of your friends, hit that share button on Facebook and share this live stream to your page. The more people that see what we're talking about, the more people that will know. We're going for 100,000 shares. 100,000. <laughs> Tonight. 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 Listen, Tonight. we have as many as 10 people watching right now, so if you each hit the share button 1,000 times, we'll reach it. We'll get there. That yeah. seems easy enough. <laughs> yeah. How hard is it to do that? Yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> All right, so Jennifer Ann is saying that worked. So move your phone from portrait view. This is portrait view to landscape view. <laughs> this is landscape view, and it'll make your phone look bigger. You'll see a button down at the corner. It says full screen. Hit the full screen button. That's going to make it look bigger, too. You know what I always tell people? What's that? To always take video on the landscape view. Yes, you want to take video and pictures yeah, on landscape. Because otherwise, you, if you ever want to watch it back on like a TV or anything, it's a tiny. It's going to have the black screen. bars. Yeah. It's yeah. much more a uh, professional look. Absolutely. On yeah. If your phone doesn't rotate from portrait to landscape view, that means you have it locked. Go into your settings and unlock the rotate button. Yeah. So. Let's talk about flying pig. <laughs> well, we're not going to talk about it like uh, we're not going to. We might just have to do a whole cast at Glocker telling people view. what to do in order to get the best uh, viewing uh, options here. So uh, thanks for tuning in, uh, everyone. Keep the comments coming. We're going to get into the story behind the flying pig. And uh, while we're doing that. I'm going to start messing around with some of these graphics. So I think, um, first of all, we have Ben and Mandy with us, which was which was with us about a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah a couple, couple months, months ago. ago. Yeah, it wasn't too long. Yeah. And big things have happened in yeah, those last couple of months. Yeah. Yes. Um, they, when we talked with them last time, they just opened their store. Yes. And what is the name of the store? And the design company. Right. Which yeah. is which you do you refinish mm -hmm. furniture, furniture. decor, you know, some antiques there, uh, yeah, a lot of that stuff. 
And then, so you just opened that store. Mm -hmm. Yes. A couple months down the road, we're meeting with you again, have an interview uh. with you again because you opened another store. Yeah. Yes. And it's only two doors down from M and B Design. So he, yeah. So the opportunity came up for this, and like Mandy called me at work, and I was like, oh, maybe we should get that store. And I said it jokingly at first. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Yeah. Guess, usually your jokes are kind of like. Yeah. Uh, kind of. <laughs> and. Uh, well, you know, like, I usually know where he's going with them. Yeah. Yeah. I think by Tuesday of the next week, well, we were signing the lease. <laughs> the lease yes. so. Yeah. But yeah, it, the opportunity was just there and we had an idea and we knew we wanted a little bit of workspace for ourselves. And it was nice. that It's right next door to our store. Right. And I was like, well, we don't need that whole store. Though. That's like, it's a lot of space. And we only needed the, we only needed the corner. We're over in the corner yeah. over there. We have a little paint area that we're going to use. And I was like, well, what do we do with the rest of the space? And that's where we came up with the idea to let's just rent out the space as an open concept then. Just okay. giving people an opportunity to yeah, use bring this their business. Open kind, of, kind of do what you did. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for a while, you, well, we'll give a little background for people that know Boyertown mm -hmm. and um, MJ's Legacy. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the, that's the building you're in right yes. now. Yes. And yep. honestly, when we started doing furniture out of our home, MJ was the first one to contact us. And ask us to bring our furniture, bring in, furniture here. in here. Yeah, so right. This is the first so, spot we put our furniture out for yeah. sale and like the public, you know. Yeah. So in a, in a way, you're yes. kind of doing the same thing for maybe other people. Yeah, yeah. just Hope. they can come in and showcase their skills. Or mm -hmm. what, yeah, what they have, what talents. So we have yoga in here, so that's a nice little twist, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> good one. That did nice. work good. Yeah. <laughs> that was that's some good marketing right there, buddy. <laughs> but yeah. So it, it's just neat to see this one evolve and the different people coming in. Yeah. Yes. So, so what you have here is a uh, open studio mm -hmm. at this point. Yes. Right? It is, we basically will run it out, give people opportunities like by hourly, Yeah. you know, so we've had like some kids classes in for STEM classes for kids to do mm -hmm. um, art classes. Um, there's going to be a couple. Um, we have a woman starting up next month. That's going to do creative play. Um, for ages, I think it was like two to four, and then she has ones up to I think six. It goes like two to like nine. Or yeah, 10, right. Or it goes so, up that age. And what's that creative play? Is creative play. It's just be like a dress up kind of play, kind of like little parties by the hour. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. just for the kids, something to do in the mornings or afternoons. Yeah, or she has a lot of great parties. We met her here the one night, and she has a lot of good parties. So it's gonna, that's gonna be a really cool one mm -hmm. for kids. Any kid, that's gonna be one that you want to sign up for. Like that she set up. Yeah, it's yes, a party it's a like themed a, a party, theme. a social setup. So like there might be a, like a pirate theme pirate to a tea theme. party to a spa day for spa day, you know. Yeah. So if I had children, well, I do have children, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I could say, hey, you know, I want to have a party, but I can't have it at my house. Too many kids or mm -hmm. whatever. Yes. Yeah. Then they contact. We're working on doing some of that too here. Okay. Yes. With yeah. birthday is, parties. Is, is that what she's? Is that what she's doing Hers or no? It's going to be more of to be every every Thursday morning. She's planning on doing it, and it's just going to be. Oh, is just anybody just come you in? Sign, well, you sign, you'll have a sign up sheet. They'll have either online or we're also gonna have one for in the store eventually. Working mm -hmm. up to that, but hers is going to be you sign up through her, and then she'll have like say like six kids. And it just gives us an activity for that morning. Yeah. And then every you just come when you can. So every week we're hoping to have one. Oh, okay. And yeah. how do people cool. sign up again? How are they going to find you to sign up? Do you have a website or a Facebook page set Websites up? Websites in the this? works. Yeah. But through right, right now, now it's through the Facebook for the Flying Pig. Okay. So it's go all through the there. And then we'll direct you to the instructor of that class. Okay. Um, and then they'll handle that. But we have everything. We keep everything posted on pretty much daily, multiple times a day of what's coming up. So people can click on those links mm -hmm. and they'll either take it to a link to that person's personal, like uh, business page or to like their Google signups. Mm -hmm. That's how yoga is doing it. Um, so each instructor and in manages their own class. Do either of you do yoga? I, I started once the first class I'm here every mm -hmm. Thursday. So beginners are very much welcome because I am very yeah. much a beginner and, yeah, I learned to stay close to the wall in case I need like a little. It's tougher than you think. <laughs> yeah, it's no, no, easy, I, 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 I heard that before. Yeah, yeah, it's great. The instructor's Abby. She's awesome. So I'm enjoying it. Our kids have done it a couple times. Yes. Um, and it's yeah. just talking about getting kids' classes in here. Mm -hmm. so. Kids yoga. 
Yeah, so that'd be cool. Th that's a cool idea. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you don't really see that too often. No, no. and that's basically we want to give people an opportunity to bring their business here to help, like help them, give them a platform to hopefully grow. And if they have that idea, it's almost <laughs> risk free to try it out in here. Right. Yeah. You know, it's not like you have a month of. You know, you're not just jumping in and getting a lease in the store for a month. You right, know. right. Let it's just try, one day. Yeah, like let me book a class for an hour yep. or two. And, yeah. You know, so see you how it build goes. Build a clientele. Yeah, build a build following. A following. Yeah. And that's that's the whole goal. It's just to hopefully hopefully help people build that little bit of a following and almost boost them through that first step of the process. Mm -hmm. And is that your is that how your ultimate goal is just to keep it going that way? That's, yeah, that's, and then, then yeah, we uh, yeah. hope for anyone to outgrow this and be like, hey, yeah. like oh, I'm done doing classes, I'm getting my own space. Like that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, because yeah. it took that. us how many years just to get this far? So we know there's like yeah, it's a process. Yeah, you have to trust it and just keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, one foot in front of the other, and it's. Yeah, if some I would just I want people to outgrow this. Yeah, and just bring new new faces. <laughs> so in. it's an incubator, basically. You've created like a little incubator space or Hope, maker yes, space yes. so that people can grow their business. Yeah, like without the makes, overhead. Yeah. And makes then we're, that and then first we're, step and we're still, a little bit easier. You know? And still getting right. things like people in Border Town, even like more low, like mm -hmm. Pots Town, wherever, but giving them something to do either during the day or on a weekend, like on an evening, like mm -hmm. just kind of give it a spot where people can kind of like gather and do give them like an activity. Yeah, and such you know? since it's such a flex space. Yes. You kind of just keep your eye on it. You, you never know what's going to pop up. Yeah. What, if anything could happen. Photography, happened. like we just had Santa on here yeah. on a uh, Sunday. It's yeah. so, like photographers have used it. Um, it's, yeah. Santa came early. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Everybody needs Christmas cards and stuff. So yeah, so yeah right. Get them edited Perfect. And printed, yeah. But yeah. So, it was fun. It was really cool. Yeah. And, but, and um, I know we talked about this before, but how did the flying pig come about again? Honestly, it just came. I saw one. My sister-in-law got one for Christmas, and I seen it. And I was like, I always love the flying pigs. But like the kids, like we're always telling them that our pigs fly because anything's possible. Like as long as you do it, like your pig will fly. Like, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. But the going. saying goes, when pigs like they said, yeah, yeah this will pig, happen oh, when pigs, pigs fly. fly. Yeah. Like, no, our pigs fly. Like don't look at it that way. Like yeah. just go for it. Yeah. You know, we're gonna control. fly here. Everybody's dreams are gonna come true in here. That's the yeah. Whole and goal. And, yeah. and back to that again. So yeah, I mean, it's a it's a, a it's a great thing that. You know, someone can just, you know, someone that's been having an idea, but they're mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know how to even yeah. start that. Yes. Right here is the place you could start it real simple. So real we simple. actually got Abby in here for yoga. It was just, we were in here working and coincidence, she walked by. And painting that, hard yeah, on we the Friday painting, night. And that it, night she walked by and she was just talking to her husband about she wanted to start doing yoga again yeah. and start teaching class. Yeah, and I stepped out. I was like, hey, she's like, what's going on here? And I was yeah. like, oh, we're hoping you like yoga. Like, and she's like, oh, I'm a yoga instructor. That, I was like, perfect. get out. Yeah. Like, this is perfect. Yeah. Like, so now she's here. And she she's wanted here. a space. And it's like, no, that's perfect. That's what we have here. Yeah. So like, yeah. let's make that work. Yeah. yeah. So, Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. Um, so um, we were talking earlier that you also wanted to have, um, you wanted to change your entrance a little bit yes. here. Do you, want, do you want to talk about that a little bit? You go for it. What do you want? The brick? Everything. Well, the, the, it, no, we're just talking like about the with welcoming the, his, part. Uh, like, the, the entrance? Yeah. Okay. So once we eventually set this up, I want to keep the front area almost. The common area. Yes. Yeah, it's going to feel welcoming. So you could walk in. I'm shooting to be class like. Class or not. Like, like if you're not taking a class yeah, at or anything. Any point, just come. If we're, at like, any point. doors open, come on yeah, in. Yeah, there's going to be a schedule up in there. So you can only see the month schedule of what's coming up. Maybe even sign ups or something there. But it's a place that you can just come in, check out what's going on. If there's a class going on, you you could see it happening, you know. And uh, get a feel for the studio. I want it to feel open and welcome here. For the community, yeah, not 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 just a, a sign up type situation. No. Yeah, but like just, just class come only. In. No, it's just and come look, in. Yeah, it's just our, come yeah. in. The doors. If I'm trying to shoot to be open like eight to eight once we're up and fully open, but mm -hmm. that way, like eight to eight, you know, just stop in, check it out, like look what's going on. There's always going to be somebody here to greet you or welcome you, and uh, that's kind of what we're going for. Mm -hmm. Just a good community feel. Now, do you have like a standard rental for? rate for this um this past all of october and we're gonna push it into november we're doing just 25 dollars an hour yep. for whoever needs the space yeah for october so, and november yep just mm -hmm. for us and then you charge whatever you're charging for your class so we're trying to keep it even when we it's kind of like our renovation costs right now yeah um but even when we up it from there it's still going to be we're thinking in the 35 it's, 40 dollar range it's still gonna, maybe. Like, i want it to be low yeah we want it to still be affordable for people we want you to be able to make something off of this you right know, we're just providing you the space like we're not other than like we'll have tables. Yeah, you're still doing the work. I want this to be very 
uh, lucrative for the other people, the people for the, doing yeah. the work yeah. here. Sure. So that's that's the whole goal. Yep. I think we'll I think we'll do good with it. Cool. How's everything going over there? Man? Everything's going. I'm trying to keep the chat going because it is really important to keep those comments coming in. So I'm participating in the chat as Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. You'll see me up there. I posted up links to the Flying oh, cool. Pig yes. Studio Facebook page. Thank you. you can click on that link right there in the comments. It's going to shoot you over. I also used our new streaming software and I put up the link for the Flying Pig Studio. So I like if that. you want to oh, see fun how you can search just type in the flying pig studio into your facebook search bar and that's going to come up you could also type that into your google search bar and it's going to take you to their facebook page oh awesome you know what I, what i'm seeing here i, I kind of like is that you can see the video mm -hmm. and you can see the comments in yeah. widescreen like yes. you can see them along the side the whole time all right so I if like you that. like that i, I do like, like that, that then we'll keep this view set up. Yeah. Now it's going to make us look a little bit smaller. Yeah, but it might people well, might like seeing around the, the holidays. We're probably going to want to look smaller, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already fat, buddy. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide nothing. <laughs> So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget that we're also on YouTube at uh, Glocker Realty and Insurance. You can find us over there. We stream live to both platforms. Awesome. Sounds good to me. Um, working on the new studio. And nobody say anything about sound today? Everything sounds no, good? No, everybody says they can hear it. Far. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Now I'm hearing, now I'm getting a no sound uh, signal uh -oh. from someone. So uh -oh. I don't know. Sorry, folks. Matt Green's got a lot to learn about what's going <laughs> on. So we're just going to keep talking and uh, we'll do the best that we can. All right. So while he's doing that, um, I just want to say again that uh, we're on you, that Flying Pig Studio here is at uh, 112 East. Right. Yep. Say uh, two doors down from the train track, something yeah, like that. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and M and B Design is right. Is two doors down. It's two yes. door down. Yeah. Yes. Opposite of the train tracks. Yeah. So. And what what is what is I mean? Let's talk about that too a little bit. What yeah. what are the hours for for M and B right, right now? Right now we're doing Fridays ten to two, and then we're doing uh, Saturday and Sundays um, ten thirty to three. Um, mm -hmm. we're trying to fluctuate. We're trying to figure out once again, slight foot traffic and get people over trying to figure out mm -hmm. how to get more people to come in during those hours. So, but we're also looking like, I want to actually make a post about, um, I want to see what days people would like to see open mm -hmm. for during the week, mm -hmm. you know? So kind of yeah. take a poll. Of what's yeah. Happening. That was a little different open in the store because we did everything online before. So actually yeah. trying to figure out store hours. It's completely and different. foot traffic yeah. and just when to be open that's actually beneficial like, right you don't want to be there mm -hmm. wasting your time so so like before yeah. when you're just going through facebook it yeah. was just simply either someone was contacting you to, to refinish the furniture yeah. which i did yes. and you did yeah. a great job yeah. Yeah. yes <laughs> and um or they were uh you would post something and yep. say hey this is for sale and yep. then they would contact yes. you mm -hmm. yeah so now like we're still all that, but then we're also now have a storefront we have to manage and maintain it. Mm -hmm. So by getting new things in, and it's nice now having here at the studio because now I can just carry things out the front door, bring them in here, and refresh the spot. Like right. there's no more packing in a car and going through bins and packing in our basement or the living room, yeah, even the kitchen, you know. So <laughs> now, <laughs> it's nice to like have it all here in one spot, kind of like now, in one room. I know last time I talked to you, Ben was buying a lot of furniture, yeah. Is he still buying a lot? Of, <laughs> is he still doing it? Yeah, that comic yeah. books. Yep, still comic, buying. Yeah, he's always buying. There's always something still coming in the mail. He's Any airplanes lately? No airplanes. <laughs> Saving for a no. helicopter. Yeah, his big thing is a helicopter. Right now. <laughs> really wants a helicopter. Now you might have talked about this because I've been a little distracted, obviously. But um, has this place provided you with some of the space that you need? Because the last time we talked, oh, yeah. yes, you uh, were like doing stuff in your like kitchen or something. So you're <laughs> yeah. like. 
half sanding <laughs> a, a chair and making spaghetti. At the yeah. Same yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We were always painting in the kitchen, yes. in the living room. So the front corner up there on in the, the other window, side. In the front window of the is, whole store or yeah, the whole studio. Yeah, we just kind of kept that for our little corner. That's going to be the little paint area that okay. Some can people can visually, working. they can see as yeah. we're working. They're so cool. People are walking by. Sometimes we've got people are walking by. They're standing there just looking at you. It's like a little workshop up there. You it's kind of fun, right? It is. Yeah. It's cool. So Yeah, so that's, that's going to be our little area. And then over there, we're going to have some storage for furniture on the other side. And, uh, that's that's cool. It's like a live window display. Yes. Absolutely, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. It's almost like a live billboard. It really yeah. is. It really is. Yeah, so, so I figured that'd be neat. It would be a neat spot to do it. And then behind that, there's nobody hung a canvas up. But behind that, we're actually going to have um, pre-sanded furniture where it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. So if someone's looking for something specific, we can actually just walk them back there and be like, "Well, this is what we have. This mm -hmm. is what we currently have." Because we haven't been able to offer something like that before. Yeah. yeah. Other than like mm -hmm. some take pictures. Mm -hmm. But to be able to see it in person, people will like and be like, "Yeah, that's I'm looking for that style. That's perfect." Right. Okay. Like it's there, available. It's not like I got to search for it. Anymore. Right. So right. Hoping to get that a little expanded with that storage space over there. Yeah. Matt, you know what I'm stuck on? What? Their live window display <laughs> and <laughs> the refinishing furniture. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm thinking about when I work. Yeah. And I I love I love doing hands on stuff, but at some point. Something goes wrong, and I'm like, yeah, son yeah, of a yeah, beep, yeah, beep, yeah. beep, 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 beep. Right, right, right. right. So you get to see that live, no, right? Absolutely. If you're right, walking yeah. by right at the right moment. Or oh. your yep. painters crack, or your car oh, right. crack. Yeah, That's yeah, all the time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If you have headphones in, you're dancing to yourself, and forget that no one else is That there. all comes <laughs> free. It does. It's definitely a show up front, for sure. So so come on down. and yeah. Yeah. Come on down to 112 East Philadelphia Avenue yeah. and see what's going on in the front There's window. always something going on. Always something. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. So are you doing more work from here than from home right now? Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing definitely a lot more here, but there's yeah. still like, I thought once we'd have this, we'd have the house right back in order and it's absolutely yeah. not that way. It's still just as hectic in its own different ways now. Yeah. We got a lot of projects to do here yeah. to get it to like the full vision that we picture it. So 24 hours in one day is not enough. Yeah. There's just always something yeah. going on. And you yeah. They should expand that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. They yeah. should. Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah, there's always something happening. But. Speaking of something happening, do you have any events coming up or anything coming up that we should talk about? Yeah, we have, what is it? The November we got yoga actually, tomorrow. Yeah, we have yoga tomorrow night, 6.30 Six to 7.30. Yeah. So um, sign up for that. That's, what's that, Abby's fourth class? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that. Uh, it's 12 bucks a class. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we have November. I actually wrote it all down. I'll have to go get it. I don't know why I'm bringing it with me. It was November 3rd. We have a kids class going on in here that Jen is doing. Mm -hmm. um, it's an art explorers class. I'm actually, I'm and you mentioned so STEM. What, yeah, what does STEM that. stand for? It's for like, science, art, math, all so, that stuff. With the yeah, science, like technology. technology. What's the E stand for? Engineering. 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 engineering science, and technology, engineering, arts, and math. Yeah. STEAM. Steam. Oh, STEAM. Yes. Yeah, they added uh, the A. Yeah. Uh, Okay, but it's it's something that a lot of the school districts are trying to focus on. No, because absolutely. It includes uh, it's more inclusive than just what you remember from your standard read and write and arithmetic. Mm -hmm. It also starts to encompass some of the Votech stuff, right. which I think is super important. Very I think important. Gets a little the, hands on. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And it's more it's more geared to create a more comprehensive learning environment mm -hmm. um, than just you know sit down, shut up, and read. Right. Um, which we're finding is not the best way for all students to learn. So by incorporating the STEM or STEAM principles, um, you're reaching more learning types. Very good. <laughs> you're like a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I'm a big advocate for Votech because not every kid um, needs to go to college or, or wants to go to college or even can go to college. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to give people an opportunity to learn in the way in, the way in which they were created, yeah. right? And learn mm -hmm. at their own pace. Correct. Yeah. So I appreciate this. I have a son who is a kinesthetic or a hands-on learner and um, fortunately, man, enough, you wanted to find kinesthetic. Kinesthetic, it means hands on, oh, okay. a hands on learner. And um, he, uh, fortunately, we live in Pottstown School District, which has an on site Votech program. Oh. So, all 
three years of high school, he got to do welding and auto right there at the high school. That's so for awesome. him, it, this was a principle that completely reached him. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. Because he's not the kind of guy who is going to do his best in a traditional classroom setting. So I know a lot about it because it's personal. To me. <laughs> oh, That's absolutely. So awesome. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and the, the, uh, hands on, um, careers, they're, they're, yeah, the technical, they're, they're, they're in high demand right now. They too. are. So for instance, like my, everybody's saying college, 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 correct. But, mm -hmm. And like, for instance, if you're a generation X or like you and I are, mm -hmm. um, our generation was encouraged not to go into the vocations, right? We heard college, college, college. So there was a whole generation that skipped going into vote. Right. Right. And now there's a shortage in all kinds of work. Like, uh, I know the statistics for welding because my son studied welding over the next five years, there's going to be a 500,000 unfulfilled welding jobs in wow. the United States. That's terrifying. Because there's not enough new people going into there's that. Not trade. enough people getting taught it. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, wow. there we go. <laughs> so you guys are trying to reach that by incorporating yeah. that into your. And our friend Jenna, um, she has her businesses Indigo Creek. She actually does a lot of furniture. She certainly she has her own little spot back here for her furniture mm -hmm. and whatnot. She comes in and paints. She has a four year old son, and she's the one who's actually running all those classes. Okay. Um, and she's very hands on, earthy, like mm -hmm. her her soul is so sweet. Like I love her to death and she's great with kids. Mm -hmm. So she's definitely geared towards everything that way. I mean, like nature walks, like it's, it's, it's a good time. So mm -hmm. I think her classes are November 3rd, the 5th and well, the third is actually the art explorers. So that's going to be like the STEM class, team class. And then November 5th, she has a um, bring your own piece class. So you come in and you paint your own pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah. as long as you can carry them and bring them in here, like it's all game. So she did a couple of those and those are fun. Like I know the ladies love it. Yeah. So it's cool. And the what? The ladies love oh, okay. it. Yeah, they love it. So and if you're here to help carry furniture out too, they haven't minded that either. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that her those classes have been good though for if, her. If, yeah, they're fun. If Ben's here, you can bring a couch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can get it painted and get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's a whole bunch of, there's a variety of things going to be, mm -hmm. and it's all on the Facebook and we're definitely going to try to, there's a lot more coming. We're going to try, we're definitely going to lay it out better sooner than yeah. later. I'll have to get a website with a schedule on it that makes it a little bit easier for everybody to navigate. And then there could be profiles of the different artists or you know, people we have in here doing classes, a little description. Instructors. Of them. Right. Yeah. Instructors. Right. Yeah. So yeah, is there a schedule that we can see right now or not? Not right mm -hmm. now. Right now, I have it kind of just posted on the news feed. I mean, this is really fresh, right? Yeah, yeah. it is so fresh. Like, yeah. And when we did this, it was really on a whim, just like that. Well, like it's just we're just kind of like throwing it all in here. Your whims seem to do pretty well. <laughs> well I hope that, yeah, that's, that's our goal. Well, so yeah. after painting this whole thing, we're finally now kind of be able to circle back and like start the real important stuff, other than the like, cosmetics of this place, mm -hmm. you know start getting different people in here and start yeah. working on filling the spaces and seeing what works well in here. We have some homeschooling uh, things yeah, coming we up. We just uh, reached out to on a Facebook homeschooling group that I follow because I homeschool our kids. Okay. Um, and I had a bunch of actually opportunities reach out to us about holding other kind of classes mm -hmm. like the, um, oh, what the, what was it called? Like the, the sensory bins and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I've had a few art teachers message me. Had someone else about yoga reach out, so it's it's ever changing. Yeah, yeah. and definitely bringing homeschooling into this would be, I think, really beneficial. So yeah, I would enjoy it. Just get more kids together and still keep it mm -hmm. a creative learning space. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty blank slate, but yeah. which yeah. offers like anything. Yeah. yeah, I mean, really anything. That's you why can it think seems of. like we're all over the place. This is because yeah. we can be. There's like yeah. we, it, it's able to house that, you know. Yeah. So yeah, and. Yeah, we're trying to find what works well and what times, you know. Uh, and what people are looking for. Yeah, like kids' classes during the day or like when, what's going to fill. We want it to work for the instructors. So if like your class isn't working in the day, if we change it up to at night, like we got to try to schedule these things for the people that is going to be most beneficial for them. Right. So we're yeah. working around that too and just paying attention to that as we go. 
as we grow and as we as we go and as we grow, <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. do everything. But yeah, uh, birthday buddies. We just had them on the show. Uh, what was that last, last week? week? Yeah, oh, yeah they messaged saying, us today. Yes. Very cool. Uh, yep, yeah. they're saying they're mm-hmm. going to try to reach out to you mm-hmm. because they think they could do some collaboration yeah. with you. Yes. Uh, yeah, because awesome. we even talked about birthday parties and stuff like that and small events. I thought. Uh, and helping other businesses yeah. just help each other. And they could just do, simply do meet and greets here. Yeah. Right. You want to do your fantasy buddies. football draft yeah, here? Absolutely. You can do your fantasy nah. football draft. Yeah. Here, you know? He has all the sports memorabilia. <laughs> yeah. even. I was like, we should just have like a man's night on a Friday night. Do like seven and nine, like. Beers and sports during you know? these cold winter right in your months. man cave. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. During these cold winter months, I said to her about, we could uh, do a little indoor flea market or something like that. A little indoor setup where people, as you're walking through town, it's, you could have a different ta- a table set up in here where, you know, a different person at each table about their business. Even and like local businesses yeah. Yeah, and just, whatnot. Just offers another little avenue for free advertising for everybody then in the area. Yeah. yeah, the small the small business incubator is a it's a idea or a concept that's been used repeatedly for um, community revitalization and community development. So it's something that's happened in other communities and been super successful in other communities. So I think it's a great idea that you're bringing it here to Boyertown, and especially right on the main street, yeah. right out where everybody can see. Yeah, it mm-hmm. seemed like a perfect spot for it. It's yeah, right. In- Right, almost in the center of the town. Yeah, you don't get any more central than this. No, no and it's right. only a, a few blocks from mm-hmm. our house, so it's super. It's so convenient. We're, we never leave town. If you're always, you're gonna be around. If I stop, I'm always around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. always around unless you're working. Ben, but. you're still working, right? right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm still working. Yep. Yeah. Someday. <laughs> you said we'll get there someday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the cast at Glocker. You'll notice some new graphics. You'll notice some new screens. Uh, we're using some new broadcasting software today. So let us know what you think. Um, we'll try to incorporate feedback into the setup to show as much as we possibly can. I wonder what it looks like on YouTube. I don't know. I haven't been over there yet. I so either. somebody wants to swap. Well, my, I know my parents watch each week and they watch on YouTube. So and I'll they'll let them. us know they'll, for sure. <laughs> All right. We'll have yeah. an update next. Well, next, next time we're on next week. <laughs> My mom's saying hello. That's what made me say that. <laughs> Hi, Judy Green. Thanks for tuning hello, in. Hello, Mrs. Green. She's the executive producer of another show called Porchcast Pottstown. That's going to be on tomorrow. I like that. She, I, 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 you know, it took me a while, but I just, I, I just noticed that she was the exec yeah, producer. The I exec like that. Producer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. There you go. All right. Thanks for everybody for tuning in and staying with us at the cast at Glocker. I'm going to get a little tricky right here and try a new graphic. I'm going to put that up on the screen. We're the cast at Glocker every Wednesday at six. Look at that. Join us here. That's so cool. Thank you. Uh, we're about halfway through the show, Jeff. So if you want to start going into uh, what's going down in Boyer, you want to know what's going down in Boyer Town? I do. Besides all the lovely things happening here at the Flying Pig Studio, I mean, for real, like everything's we, going down here. Everything's you know that <laughs> everything's going down. And we can't even cover it. There's so much stuff going on. We can't cover it all, uh-huh. but I'm sure you're going to give us a, a highlight as best you possibly can. Of course, of course. And how do you do that, Jeff? I, How do you highlight I, what's going I on? I search the internet. Right. Yep. And then where do you put that information, Jeff? I so put it in one place. It. It's uh, You can go to the website, jeffknowsboyertown.com, and it's uh, what's going down in Boyertown. What's going down in Boyertown. And if you can't remember that, then I don't know. <laughs> You need help, I guess. And that's a www, correct? That is a www, yes. Right. <laughs> but, but you don't even have to put the www in. Right. But for all you moms out there, that's a www. <laughs> <laughs> Triple W. That certainly is. I'm going to find it, and I'm going to put it up in a caption for you. So let us know what's going on, and I'm going to get hard at work uh, promoting your website. Okay, so you know what's going on, Matt? You know what's going on? And, and please, everybody, chime in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what's going on this weekend, this Sunday in particular? Is there anything that you can think of? Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. of course. Of course. That was a setup. <laughs> um, yeah, so Halloween's going on. And uh, what I talked about in my in my blog this week was a question that usually usually what pops up in my head is what goes into my blog, mm-hmm. and that is why do we 
put candles in pumpkins and makes scary faces on them. Oh, you saw that do that. The old Jack Jack O' Lantern. Mm -hmm. You know why does that even happen? So I looked it up. I found out there's actually a very good story um, about a a person and an Irishman named Stingy Jack. I think I heard him. Yeah, yeah, which is which is the reason there's a Jack O'Lantern. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not telling you the story right now. You're going to have to come. <laughs> I got to look. You're going to have to look at the vlog. Yeah. The kids and I just looked it up. But it's a yeah, it's yeah. a really cool story. Um, I I looked at it. all the versions seem pretty much the same. Sometimes mm -hmm. they cut out some stuff. I put the more longer version mm -hmm. in because I think it's a really cool story about Stingy Jack tricking the devil. And then, uh, and then him forced to walk the earth for the rest, the of, his, rest of eternity. Yeah, for eternity. eternity. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so uh, check that out. Um, that's a good Halloween story. You can tell the kids, and then they won't sleep at night. <laughs> um, but uh, so I and I'm wearing my uh, the Shining shirt for yeah. especially for Halloween oh today. I'm drinking my pumpkin beer. There you go. I'm all set up you're, for Halloween. You're all festive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but also, uh, I also, uh, gave some tips to, uh, how to carve the perfect jack-o'-lantern and I'll give you, I'll give you a few right now. I'm not going to give you all of them. You <laughs> still have to go look at the blog, but, uh, there's one thing that really popped out to me that I never thought of and it, it's supposed to really help with, you know, how, you know, when you cut out your pumpkin and then everything kind of sags in yes. real quickly. Yeah. Well, they say to, um, to cut the the bottom out of the pumpkin instead of the top oh. and then so you know because that top is what kind of like holds it all yes. together and it sinks in yeah. yeah so now you're now you have the strength of the bottom mm -hmm. and you're just you're just cutting that yeah. bottom part out to try that so i thought that was interesting i don't know if i'm going to do it this year <laughs> <laughs> i want to test that one we didn't carve i mean it's, no, we didn't yeah it's been 47 years of cutting the top out it's really hard to to change my mind on that but i'm trying to think of what i've done i know i've cut the back out of them a couple of oh times, yeah just because of the way the pumpkin was shaped right i, I have cut the back out so yeah why not right yeah <laughs> yeah because <laughs> you cut the back out and then you can reach in there and put still put the candle, candle in, in there but just because of the way the top was it just made sense. like sometimes they're goofy shaped mm -hmm. yeah you know they're not like the perfect pumpkin yeah. no right sometimes you want to carve the ones that aren't perfect because it makes it even it makes better. it even better yeah, yeah. But I like that idea though. That's a great idea. Yeah. Cut it out the bottom. I know. I don't have anybody in my life that carves pumpkins anymore. So you'll have to report back to us on how it goes. <laughs> right. I'll let I you, think you should I'll let do you, it. I'll let you know. You said I you should. might it should not, be a test. But I think now you have to. I think I want to because try it. I'm gonna ask you next week how it went. All right. All right, you, you talked me into it. I'm doing it. You got to. <laughs> you you talked about it. You got to follow your own advice. <laughs> <you said. laughs> it's not really my advice. Well, you found it. I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the other thing that kind of um, was interesting was they told you to sprinkle cinnamon on the inside of the lid. So if you do cut, cut, cut the top off, yeah, sprinkle cinnamon there. up there, you put it back on. And then when you're burning it, it smells more like a pumpkin pie <gasps> or pumpkin spice, Matt. Pumpkin spice. Oh. <laughs> I yes. thought that was a good idea. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm cool. I'm going to do that one. I love pumpkin and, spice. And the one that popped up that I found interesting because I have kids and I did, I thought this was a no brainer. It says to let your kids join in. So I put it in there. <laughs> But to me, it's a no. Of course, you're gonna yeah. let your kids join in. They're yeah. gonna come like, and get, get that like, slop out the guts yeah. of the pumpkin yeah. out. It's yeah. the best. Yeah, I usually get stuck doing the rest of it, but okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. You'd always do it because yeah, I'm really bad. I'm like the standard like triangle eye and one little tooth, and Ben's all like. You can't hand crazy. your kids knives and tell them to start cutting <laughs> yeah. away, but yes. yeah. but getting the guts out. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, too much absolutely. fun. That's the fun part. Right. The table cloth down. Yeah. Do you guys uh, roast your seeds afterwards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. we try every year. <laughs> mm -hmm. I try. Yeah. So I have a, a recipe. I don't use to burn them, or I don't. They don't taste the greatest. Okay, yeah. so here you go. I got a five star <laughs> recipe that I also am posting. Okay. For for the pumpkin seeds, how to do out. it, yeah. what's in it, okay. blah blah blah. I will have to check. Super it. simple. It's on you now. Okay. I, I wonder if, um, you know, everybody's using these air fryers now. The air fryer might be a, a kind of good way to do it. You it would probably is a very good way. Um, I don't know if you get that roasted, though. 
I don't know. Part you know who has it. a you it's know like who me. has an air fryer? The producer of this yes. show, Jen Seville. I saw, and she posted that she loves it. So maybe I'm throwing a gauntlet down, Jen. You got to roast some pumpkin seeds in your air fryer <laughs> and let us know. Let us know, are. please. If you do roast some, please, I'm requesting pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin <laughs> seeds. They're not. Please <laughs> bring them. Did you ever have pumpkin fr roasted pumpkin seeds? I used to do it all the time okay. with my kids. Delicious, right? Yeah, I, I used to them. do it in the oven, and I would put them on yeah. a sheet or a yep. tray. Yeah. And then a couple of times while they were roasting, I'd pour them into like a bowl or a dish. Okay. And then shake them, and then put them and spread so them back out right. to try to get them even as yeah. I possibly could. That's a good idea. And the then you kind of, I kind of, the way I avoided burning them was to leave the light on in the oven so I can see and then I'm staying there and right. as soon as they start to turn brown I, I pull it out yeah because yeah. I I did the same thing I set some timers a couple yeah. of times yeah and it burns too them. far it's just like oh they all stick yeah. together and it's just like right. oh that's and sometimes you I have like two different anyway. size pumpkins <laughs> mm -hmm. so the seeds aren't the same size mm -hmm. So you, I think that's oh, the other part of it too. Try to use as many of the same size pumpkin seeds as you can. I agree with you. Because the yeah. smaller ones are going to cook quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's what I've learned. I got to throw a shout out to my wife. She does a really good job at the pumpkin seeds. Right. And I, man, I eat those for weeks because she, she cooks does a, a lot good of job. them. Yeah. So I also think that if you use some high temperature oil, it might help too. So I used to use olive oil all the time. Oh, did you? Yeah. But you could probably use something like a walnut oil, which is higher temp or even squash oil. They okay. make squash oil that you can get in the gourmet oil section. Right. That yeah, might, that, that might. And yeah. That and then put them on your tray to roast them. Oh, we just oh yeah. Pumpkins. Yeah, I, I would clean them, mm -hmm. make sure all the pumpkin goop is off of them. I would dry them as good as I can, mm -hmm. put the oil on them, then put them on the tray. I will say that I, the recipe that I have posted or that I will post tomorrow um, has butter, and I'm a butter guy. So yeah, butter would butters. be good too. Butter's got a <laughs> low. Butter is butter. You have to be go. careful though because butter's got a low smoke point. So yeah. it's going to start smoking sooner than like olive oil or some of the other oils we just talked right. about. Well, how they have it, I'm going to tell you. We're nerding out on pumpkins, dude. <laughs> how they have it, how they have it, and I don't, you know, I don't know what my wife's recipe is, but how they have it is that you're, you're cooking for 45 minutes at 250. So it's a pretty low setting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then for the last like five minutes, you crank it up to like 325 okay. and that browns them. So that yeah, maybe gets, gets all of the moisture out cooking them low. Yeah, yeah, right. It, that's what it exactly mm -hmm. what it does. And you get that last roast at the last five minutes. Check out that recipe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's at jeffknowsboyertown.com. Awesome. I'm definitely in. I'm going to go check What's it out going down in Boyertown? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, lots of good tips, I think. Um, a really good story. I think it's a cool story. I, lo I love I love finding out how things ha began. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, how they maybe. began. And the cool, interesting stories behind them are, are really, yeah. really interesting to me. Um, but so it is an event blog. So mm -hmm. each week I have all the events that are happening in and around Boyertown. And um, and I, I and, you know, I can't tell you all the events are happening. There's too many to talk mm -hmm. about right now. But what I want to do is highlight the the um, Halloween type events that are going on. Uh, first of all, I want to just mention that the the Bally that Bally's Halloween parade was supposed to be, I think, Tuesday night. I think it rained, so. so it's pushed back to tomorrow night, Thursday night. So Thursday night, seven o'clock, you can go to the Bally Halloween parade. Nice. I was at the Boyertown Halloween parade this weekend. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was good. Yep. They had the flaming car, the flaming, the flaming hearse. hearse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? It, Transmission went. Is so, that what happened? Yeah. I went to high school with the girl. <laughs> the girl yeah, the it was. Girl, yeah. So you were so looking it a, on how to contact the flaming hearse. Yeah. Right? Were yeah. you? Well, yeah. she knows. It. Yeah, it, yeah. She just said she knows. Yeah. It. Scott Schaefer's on 422. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. And I believe from what I was told, it, the 
storm transmission went out. Because they, they were in a parade like the night or two before that. Yes, at Douglasville. Yeah. 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 On the way, that's our, yeah. way to the parade. Yeah, that's what I heard. So they're on a rollback. On the way to our Boyertown parade. They were on a rollback in Boyertown. Yeah. Uh, but those flames are still, still shooting going. out. That's everybody's favorite. That thing, yeah. Everybody's favorite parade. You're like, is the hearse going to be there every time? Yeah. So. Yeah. And they weren't there on 2019, and I remember that. Yes, I was very yes, upset you, about yeah. that. Yeah, and it's like, wait, but you didn't see? Yeah, every year, yeah. right? Um, so Bally Hotels uh, parade. I mean, Bally Hotels. Bally's parade. <laughs> I used to work at the Bally Hotel, man, as you, you know. <laughs> so that's why you know, everything's Bally Hotel all the time. Um, <laughs> but uh, so that's Thursday night. Um, the Colebrookdale Railroad, which is right behind us here, they have a lot of uh, cool autumn stuff going on and Halloween stuff. They have their fall foliage rides Tuesday, uh, I mean, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So you can jump on those. Um, they have a zombie invasion rail bike laser tag hunt. Ooh, did you guys yeah. do that? No. You look like you, you, you're into that. I'd, I'd probably cry. I'm not. I don't, <laughs> not I don't, I don't that. like scary. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I hide a lot. I'd probably that. leave you in the woods. He would, he would. <laughs> he would leave me. So I don't really, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that that is just Thursday night, and then uh, the Erie Limited Ghost Train uh, with Charles Adams. Do you know who Charles Adams is? Anybody? Mm -mm. No. He's the uh, he's a writer. He does the ghost stories of Berks County. Oh, the ghost oh. stories. Yeah, of, yeah. There's a ghost he, he does stories a whole of Chester bunch, County. Yeah, everything. Okay. Yeah, it's all him. Okay. Yep. He even does like a ghost stories of uh, uh, I don't know down the shore. I can't even think of. Kate May, he had, uh, does those stories okay. and everything. He has okay. a whole bunch of books. But I lived in a house that was supposedly haunted. Okay, that he wrote about. In oh, really? Ghost stories of Chester County. I lived your in, parents' house? No, no. Oh. I what? <laughs> I've lived in more parents' uh, houses than just my parents. Yeah. <laughs> I am a middle-aged man. I have I, lived the whole I life. Up. I'm trying to think of the houses that you lived in. I lived at Springton Manor Farm. When I worked for Chester County Parks and Recreation, uh, okay. I lived in okay. park housing. And uh, my apartment was in the manor house at Springton Manor Farm. And uh, it was supposedly haunted. And he wrote about it in, in the book, you know, Haunted Houses of Chester County or whatever right. it was. I never really had any experiences there. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people say that it was haunted. I only had really one thing. That, that I could weird. not explain. Yeah, I wasn't scared by it. I just couldn't explain it. That's One awesome. night there was this music. I could hear this music, and it sounded like maybe like some like classical music, or some kind of like uh, light jazz or something like this. And um, I was like real early in the morning, and I'm like looking around. Like I thought it was my maybe my clock or something like this. This is before like smartphones, or right? Anything. Right. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around. I, and then the there was an events coordinator whose office was next door to my apartment. So I thought, well, maybe Susan left her uh, radio on in her office or her computer or something. So I go in there, I'm checking around. No, it's not that. The house had an alarm system. So I was then I was thinking like, well, maybe the alarm system somehow is picking up a radio frequency. Mm -hmm. You're really well, you're thinking real scientific yeah, now. Yeah. No, I because I could <laughs> not I could not track down what this was. I never figured out where that music coming from. Hmm. But that was the one weird thing that did happen to me while I lived there. Cool. But I was I never saw ghosts or cool. no, there was no jump and grab stuff. But right. one night didn't understand where the music was coming from. Nice. Yeah. That's very cool. Unexplained story by Matt Green. <laughs> that's my participation that's in the Halloween, Halloween special. That's your story. That's Halloween special. Yeah. So Charles Adams, I've seen him before tell stories. Um, he mm -hmm. tells stories that are usually out of his book. And there's and a lot of stuff in be? board. Yeah. Where's he going to be? Colebrookdale Railroad. Oh, okay. Um, their ghost train, which is uh, Friday at 730. Nice. So jump on board and uh, take a ride and listen to some cool ghost stories. I did. We Anita and I did the. My wife and I did um, the train, the ghost train. Like I don't remember, maybe three or four years ago, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and that wasn't with Charles Adams or anything. It was just they were just telling the stories over the over the loudspeaker. Over the loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. It's cool. 
and the leaves are changing now. Yeah, so the it's going to be a good ride. Girl. It's going to be a full Real on, nice. full on it's a Halloweeny. Late, it's a late one because usually, you know, you're thinking they're filling those those yeah. pumpkin bags yeah. Yeah. and stuff like that with leaves, and you, there's really not because of the weather. Yeah, no, they, they, really just started like street, they started just picking them leaves clean up like this past week i finally started seeing trucks like sucking leaves off the like piles off the street yeah, and yeah. climate change bro yeah you want to talk scary <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> climate change <laughs> 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 but the leaves are changing right now so people look at the leaves they're starting to look really nice yeah they're beautiful mm -hmm. yeah I, I i give it like maybe a few more days it comes quick all of a sudden it does yeah. it goes yeah like they're all down. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm coming home with leaves in my purse every day. Everywhere we go, the kids are stuffing leaves in any kind of bag I'm carrying. <laughs> nice. They're like, look at this one, look at this one. Yeah. Yeah. We have bags of leaves <laughs> in, the awesome. in the kitchen. <laughs> right next to the furniture that you refinished. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty darn close. And a spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. So close. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Friday night, Peppermint Candy Store is doing their Friday Fright Nights. Ooh. They've been doing it all October. And you go in and they... I'm, I don't know exactly what they're doing. It's just, they kind of have everything set up a little creepy. I think they have some music playing and stuff like that. At the Peppermint Stick. At Peppermint Stick Candy Store, yep. And that is from 6 to 8 on Fridays. Um, and Halloween at the Y, at the Bordertown YMCA, they're doing that 6 to 8 on Friday. Um, they're having a chunk or treat and all sorts okay. of stuff going on there. Uh, the Washington the Washington Inn Grill and Pub. Yeah. In Bechtelsville, they're having their Halloween costume party with a DJ and all that fun stuff with prizes. And uh, for, at 8.30, they're starting that on Friday. Nice. Uh, Saturday on Route 100. Yep, right on Route 100. Bechtelsville. <laughs> Saturday, uh, the Trinity, uh, Trinity Boyertown Church is uh, having a trunk retreat from 2 to 4. That's in the afternoon. Uh, good for those younger kids that can't go out late mm -hmm. i think the trunk or treat idea is a good too because i know there's a lot of parents that are like concerned about sending your kids up and down the streets and with drivers and my kid gonna get all amped up on candy and run out in front of the larry's pickup truck you know so yeah. go to the trunk or treat you don't have to worry about you know it. it's funny <laughs> yeah. uh when i was a kid in the eighties, you got all amped up on candy and ran out in front yeah. of yeah. these pickup truck. That's a, <laughs> that's, a <laughs> trees. that's a given. But you, you know where I live, right? I yeah. live in Perkinville, very rural area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to do. We used to walk. Me and my brother used to walk around the block, and you know we were both trick or treating, so we were probably you know under thirteen, probably right. fourteen, and. Um, and so we would go go on our own. There was no parents or anything with us. Yeah. <laughs> You're and we just go in the, the dark. knock on the door, just like the old yeah. school and trick or treat. And the and the best thing though is that I, I it was probably one of the last years that my brother did it at least. Um, we stopped at this one house. We called it the Monkey Lady's house. And the reason we called it the Monkey Lady's house is because she actually had a live monkey. She had a monkey. <laughs> That's so cool. Was the monkey like handing out treats? Dude? So so she invited us in and yeah. we could say hi to the monkey. The monkey. I don't know if the monkey gave us treats is or not. Is the monkey all amped up on candy? The monkey, he was like the monkey, chowing the on monkey Snickers. Drank beer. The monkey did everything. Oh he had God. his own TV. He watched yeah. his own shows and everything like that. Yeah. The, the monkey was awesome. Like good time. But it does. It sounds crazy. Like yeah. like the, that's your kids crazy, do dude. That now. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. yeah so there's not going to be any changing. drunk monkeys at trick or, at trunk or treat. <laughs> no, no, drunk no, monkeys. no drunk monkeys at <laughs> trunk or treat. So if you're worried about drunk monkeys, go to trick or treat at the, trunk or treat. The monkey lady gave dollar bills though. Did she? Yeah. So Which funny. was awesome, uh, especially in the eighties. Yeah. That must have cut into the monkey's beer uh, allowance, <laughs> though, man. I don't know. I think, a monkey how did the monkey feel about that? She had a vegetable stand as a kid, and she had, she had a stuffed monkey hanging in the back of her car. I'm like, the monkey lady's back, because she'd always leave. Like, a Maybe it was blocks. the same one. Maybe, Maybe it was the monkey was after the monkey, monkey died. Too, said that. Maybe, it was, maybe it was his monkey lady right? after the monkey died. Yeah. She stuffed it and she put it in her car. Would that be, wouldn't that be funny if it was? <laughs> that, that she was did stuff the monkey. <laughs> There we go. Uh, See? It's, yeah. it's gotta be. Full circle. How See? many, how many, <laughs> how many, 
how many monkey ladies could there be? One hundred percent. She stuffed the monkey. She did. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Don't you know you got to stuff the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the um? Do you remember the Halloween shop in uh? Around the corner from me. Yeah, in Perky It was called yeah. uh, Littles. No. Or was it Littles? Mm, it was I, something I don't know why little, I can't it. was called it. something hollow uh, costume. Shop. Yeah. Swans. Swans, Swans. costume. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's she owned she owned that. The monkey lady. And the monkey was stuffed and in the in the oh costume shop. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah. Now we just have to figure out if it was the same one. We gotta uh, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's know. interesting. Oh my that god. Is Okay. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know where we were at. Doesn't matter. Something. It's funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to make this is okay. This is this is off the Halloween subject, but yeah. Um, I I learned sad news this week, and Soul Joe's Comedy Club. Do you know yeah. what I'm about to say? No. They're moving out of Royersford. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. So they had the dome there. Yeah. Which was really cool. Have you ever, guys, no. ever oh. went or anything? I've, I've, but you knew there was a comedy yes. club there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so they had this cool. It was like a sports bubble. It was like yeah, one of those basically. bubbles that they put over sports fields. Yeah. Except and it then, was open on the ends. And then yeah. it was like all sand inside. You could bring your your chairs. You could bring your oh, own yeah, beverage. That, bring yeah. your own okay. food, whatever. Whatever. Food, yeah. And, uh, and then they put on comedy shows, which was great. And they they kind of did that out of uh, the COVID. Situation. COVID definitely, because he was he was in the process of opening a comedy club indoors, indoors right correct, there, I think, on the main street. Oh, was it in main street? Yeah, it was. It was somewhere in okay. on the main street. And then COVID hit right as he was getting ready to open. I think he might have even been open. He might have been open a little for a bit. short period, yeah. but then had to go outside. Yeah. So that. That was how he shifted gears in order to, um, you know, overcome the challenges of COVID nineteen. So I felt that that you know that we had this gem in yeah. Warriorsford, yeah. which is not far from Warrior Town no. here. And he was getting national acts. And he's getting huge acts. Yeah, international right acts yeah. like Jim bag. Brewer. <laughs> yeah, like some big acts. Yeah. So wow. the news I found out is not that he's closing, but he's moving. moving. He's moving to like. He's moving to basically King of Prussia. It's not oh, town okay. address, but it's basically it's some golf course. Okay. So he's going to be indoors, which saddens me because eh. he's going a little further away. Yeah. Right. You know? But uh, good for him. I mean, I guess, you know, I, I think I think it's right. I think it's 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 a progression upward, I guess. Yeah. I wonder, too, if it has to do with some of the developments that are happening along the river there, because I know, for instance, that they're bringing the Schoolkill River Trail right down through mm, where maybe. that area was. Maybe. Maybe he had to move. Maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd like yeah. to have a conversation with him just to know. Yeah. We should maybe try to circle we, back. With and him we did have that. him on on the show. Yeah. It was a good time. A really great show. But um, so this last weekend, you know who you guys have on? Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> and if, if you know who that is, yeah. Yeah. that's funny. That dude's but, funny. So I guess there's going to be a, a couple, I think there's going to be a couple weeks lapsed. I think. I, I know he's coming back in November in the new facility, and he's going to have Dice as the opening, the first. Uh, yeah, act. Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah. Apparently, the Dice Man loves coming to this area. He thinks he has great shows. He likes the people, the whole nine yards. That's what uh, Soul Joel was telling uh, telling me after the show. Was right. that uh, most of the com comedians, they loved even it, the big right? name ones, they loved coming there. They yeah. thought it was great. So, yeah. more good. power to him. He hit on something there. He, he did Maybe not, even by not, accident. And I hope that. I hope that you know if if he has the opportunity, maybe he brings something like that back to Roarsford. You know, yeah, something because that was that was unique beyond unique, right? Yeah, just like what you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. He's going inside now at the golf course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it'll be good for wintertime, I guess. <laughs> definitely good for winter. <laughs> definitely good for winter. Yes. We were there on a very cold day. I was layered up, dude. But we I warmed. Was we warmed up, didn't we? After yeah, the we got some uh, shots of whiskey. Yeah, some free shot, <laughs> free shots of whiskey that were like they were oh, way yeah, more than shots. Of course, yeah. I had to stay for the whole show. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> um, but then Sundays, um, Halloween, of course. Happy Halloween, everybody! And then I just want to make a mention because um, we had Arrow Workshop on in Gilbertsville. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I see them all the time online. Uh, they're doing their chunky knit pumpkins on Monday um, from six to nine. So you know, 
just because Halloween's over, the pumpkin thing is still around for, for fall and no, stuff like absolutely. that. Thanks great gifts. And, that. Yeah. 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 Great decor. Mm -hmm. So that is what's going down in Boyertown this week and, and much, much, much more. Check out the blog, uh, what's going down in Boyertown on jeffknowsboyertown.com. All right. Do you do you guys? You know, we talked to you for a bit, but I yeah. want to make sure that we covered everything that you guys would like to talk about. Yeah, pretty much. I believe so. Yeah, just right. follow our page for all um, updates as they happen. Yeah. I don't even know what's happening. I just go day to day anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. Keep That's it, all we can do, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. I'm, try, I'm trying to keep it posted as much and up to date as much as I can. I'm definitely going to figure out a better way so people can just go on and see. Mm -hmm exactly what's happening i mean just like i don't know this week maybe just post a calendar a picture of a calendar of what's happening yeah, right. schedule. um once we get more foot traffic and like we said we're at the front we're having like a lounge space where you can come in and see what classes are coming up mm -hmm. or what's happening month to month and you, know? you can certainly email so, me okay. or message me yeah. through messenger okay um and i will definitely I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to definitely post what you have coming yeah, up anyway you know, yeah that's but, right now we're trying to fill up spots and we're doing it's just a, right now we're still on like a good like step two of building this you know like yeah. right first step was like painting the whole place and getting it ready to go and yeah, it'll get there yeah but now it's just kind of bringing people in mm -hmm. you know working on filling time spots and yep. getting new artists yeah. in here and there's time still to be filled so if anyone mm -hmm. needs a spot or has any questions got any ideas that you think us, yeah. yeah shoot us ideas you got and no, absolutely yeah we'll give you some good feedback and hopefully we can get you in here and get something rolling yeah Sounds good. Good deal. Today we were with the Flying Pig Studio. They are located at 112 East High Street. Excuse me, High Street. No. <laughs> 112 <laughs> East Philadelphia Avenue, Boyertown, Pennsylvania, 19512. That's the lovely borough of Boyertown. Flying Pig Studio. I put up their Facebook page. They're easy to find. Just search them on Facebook, the Flying Pig Studio. This has been the cast at Glocker. I am the tech guy now <laughs> Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. I will be on tomorrow at six o'clock on Porchcast Pottstown. We're going to be interviewing Who? Evan Brandt. Who's that? Who's a local newspaper writer. He's going to tell us uh, about the plight of the local newspaper. A lot of local newspapers are being bought up by huge corporations. And what and are they doing? Hedge funds, uh, uh, gutting them, oh. selling them. and selling them off. They're yeah. killing the newspapers. Right. Killing the little local brands. The local oh, brands. Yeah. Yeah. And it's super important because these local newspapers are the ones that um, investigate local happenings right uh they bring you local politics and local news um so that you can stay up to date on what's happening in your backyard mm -hmm. if there's no local newspaper to do that a lot of uninformed people yep yeah. so it's super important uh to support local news as much as you can so Absolutely. we're going to be hearing from evan brandt from the mercury uh he's going to fill us in that's going to be really interesting because i want to yeah. i want to hear how the mercury is um adjusting I, I would say well, we're gonna find out yeah i'm and gonna listen it, it it's gonna be a little bit of a grim tale for yeah. halloween yeah, yeah. But, yeah. so Sounds that's yeah. what we're Fighting doing battle. Yeah, yeah tomorrow night because, at six but there's always a way right oh yeah there's gotta be a way there's i think way. i think one of the ways it's happening um is people still people, want news i mean they people do. are looking at news more than ever and that's right i mean um, that's yeah, sure. people people want what's in their backyard. They want to know what's yeah. going yeah. on, and um, so I think what we're kind of filling that function a little bit with these live streams and podcasts that we're doing. Right, right. we're going out into the community. We're talking to local business owners. We're talking to members of local organizations to find out what they have going on and what they're doing for the community. So, to a certain extent. I think there's been this kind of uh, grassroots effort to kind of fill in the gap. I wonder and if what you, you're I, doing with your blog. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know. I wonder if you. Wonder, I wonder if you, if you, like, as a newspaper, as as a newspaper, because obviously, newspaper, paper, paper, paper newspapers, are, right. are dead. Pretty yeah, much. yeah, right. Yeah, I wonder if maybe you you start buying into these blogs and 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 whatnot, mm -hmm. and grouping them and. 
and kind of putting it out know. there as a as a picture. I, sure. I mean, as a kind as a package. package. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 Sure, but a package. That might be a solution. Yeah, that's You're a good point. A Maybe I'll. From yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. From the local level. Yeah. Right. They right. Grab the local guy. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'll have to ask him, but that's a good question. And right. it might be a solution for something, something like that to do. Just make it a little bit more organic. I, yeah. That's a good, that might be a good solution. So we're going to be talking to him tomorrow night on Porchcast Pottstown at six o'clock. Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate or Porchcast Pottstown on YouTube. Find me at Jeff at Glocker. Um, also, you know, check out my blog at jeffknowsboyertown.com. What's going down in Boyertown is the name of the blog. There you go. There this you has go. been yeah. the you latest. You can find episode. us at the Flying Howdy. Beast Studio Co. or <laughs> MB Design <laughs> Company. And, um, or anywhere in Boyertown. Yeah, message us through there. <laughs> <laughs> I have web pages in the works. I'm going to yeah. have to get this, the studio tied into that for now. But And a sign is coming. Yeah. You don't have a sign yet. We're working Sign on is coming. We have been yeah. working hard. The live display is here now. Coming. I got a yes. logo coming yes. that I'm working on yet. Yes. So um, there's a lot coming up. So just follow our pages for all updates. That it's going to be the easiest way to get them out to you. Awesome. Great. <laughs> this has been the latest episode of the cast at Glocker. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll be on next wednesday are we, we doing not. a show we're not on next we're, wednesday we're actually going, oh i'm going away yeah i'm going away we'll be actually three weeks from now but we will be posting uh older shows okay over the next two weeks okay yeah so tune in on wednesdays for some reruns reruns yep good All reruns. right and they'll actually probably be on right on time at six o'clock. <laughs> they will. We can schedule, <laughs> we can schedule them to post. We weren't bad today, though. We were pretty, we were, we were pretty no, good today. Good. Yeah. Uh, good. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone enjoys our new broadcasting platform and our new look here on the cast at Glocker. Keep the feedback coming. We're going to do our best to accommodate um, our viewers. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for supporting the show. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye. <laughs>